The victim of a vicious dog attack is speaking out. Three animals were involved in this, and this wasn't the first time they had hurt someone. Local 10's Leanne Morejon is live in Fort Lauderdale with that story. Leanne. Yeah, I spoke to a man who is frankly just still heartbroken over what happened here. Not only did he get very seriously injured, his two dogs were killed. And back in February, a similar incident happened to a neighbor. So the man you're about to meet says that there was one thing this dog owner could have done that might have changed everything. These dogs were more than pets to Thomas Hartwig. They were my boys. The rescue Italian Greyhounds were named Giovanni and Luigi, and Luigi even had a connection to Local 10. He was the pet of the week on, uh, on Channel 10, and, uh, and I ended up getting him. But years of faithful companionship came to a tragic end just over a week ago when Hartwig says he and his dogs were mauled by a neighbor's dogs during their usual morning walk in Fort Lauderdale. I couldn't believe it was happening. And look like the dog in this photo called a Dogo Argentino. They're 80 to 100 pounds apiece and he had three at the same time. Hartwig says they were heading back home when it happened. They just came toward us and one of them uh, grabbed Giovanni, who's my smaller Italian greyhound. As Hartwick lunged to save Giovanni, he says a second dog went for his neck. The third dog went after Luigi. At some point I said, your dog, your dog is killing me. Hartwick was taken to the hospital where he got 17 staples to close his wounds. His boys were rushed to the vet, but it was too late. Found out that it's right choke up that their injuries were too severe. A neighbor by the name of Robert Farrington says those same dogs attacked him in February. These photos showing just some of the injuries he sustained to his body. He says the dogs were ordered to be muzzled after that attack, but Hartwig says the dogs were not muzzled last week. Because he knew those dogs should have been wearing muzzles, and they weren't, and they, they killed my dog, and frankly, they almost killed me. And so Hartwick says that there is an effort right now, at least by Broward County Animal Control, to deem these dogs as dangerous under the law. There are certain things that come along with that distinction. We are following up with Broward County Animal Control to see where that status is when a next hearing may be scheduled and what might happen to this owner and those dogs. Reporting live in Fort Lauderdale, Emily Ann Morejon, Local 10 News.